Are TESOL teachers in demand? Of all the questions we get asked as a provider of TESOL certification, this is probably the easiest to answer. The simple truth is that the demand for TESOL qualified teachers is generally very high in most parts of the world. And in some areas, you can even take your pick of a range of job options, as there are not enough teachers to fill the available positions. Are TESOL teachers in demand in English-speaking countries? Although for many TESOL course graduates, the aim is to head overseas to experience living and working in a foreign culture, it is not the only option. Plenty of people use their teaching qualification within their home country, as increasing levels of immigration have led to a rapid increase in demand for ESL teachers in English-speaking countries, such as Australia, Canada, the UK, and the USA. While there are teaching opportunities in most parts of the world, if you are newly qualified and short on experience, it might make sense to look at countries that have the strongest demand. Are TESOL teachers in demand in China? As it has the world's largest population, it is no surprise that China offers the single largest market for foreign English language teachers. However, you should be aware that foreign teachers technically require a degree to qualify for a work permit. While the big two cities of Beijing and Shanghai do tend to adhere to this policy, you will find that the rules are often less strictly enforced in many other areas. Are TESOL teachers in demand elsewhere in Asia? Outside of China, there are plenty of other countries where there is a strong demand for ESL teachers. Highly developed countries such as Japan, South Korea and Taiwan all have a long history of employing large numbers of foreign teachers. There is a potential to earn high salaries in all of these locations, although the competition is likely to be stronger and the requirements more stringent than in China. Southeast Asia is another hotbed for those looking to teach English. Although salaries are unlikely to match those of the countries above, the laid-back lifestyle and low cost of living is a major plus side for many. The countries with the most numerous opportunities in this region are Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam and the Philippines. Are TESOL teachers in demand in Europe? The demand for ESL teachers is generally very high across Europe. Countries such as Italy, France and Spain have been attracting teachers from all over the world for decades. However, you will find that competition is strong for jobs in the most popular areas. In recent years, countries further east, such as the Czech Republic, Poland and Hungary, have also become more popular as demand has grown rapidly and the cost of living is considerably lower. Are TESOL teachers in demand in Latin America? Most countries in Central and South America have some level of demand for foreign teachers and few requirements for experience and qualifications other than a TESOL certificate. Traditional hotspots for employment include Argentina, Chile, Mexico and Costa Rica. In recent years, other countries such as Colombia, Ecuador and Peru have also seen a steady increase in demand. Are there any age limits for TEFL teaching? The good news is there are no real age restrictions on who can take a TEFL course and then go on to teach English abroad. At ITTT, we do require you to be at least 18 years old to enroll on our courses, but there are certainly no upper age limits. Over the years, we have successfully trained people of all ages, many of whom have gone on to have successful careers as English language teachers. As long as you're a native or near native English speaker who is keen to learn new skills and is open to new ideas, then your age should be no barrier to your success. Although a large number of new TEFL graduates are in their 20s, it doesn't mean they're always the most sought after by employers. Yes, there are many employers around the world who are only interested in recruiting younger teachers for various different reasons. However, there are plenty of situations where more mature teachers are equally popular. If you have any previous experience in teaching or training related employment, then you will have little problem landing a teaching job. In fact, simply having plenty of general life experience can often go in your favor. One factor worth remembering is that roughly half of all EFL classes are for adult language learners, with the business English sector being one of the fastest growing. 
Many employers in these areas prefer their teachers to be more mature, to help create a good report in the classroom. Whilst any history in world of business will also go strongly in your favor. Age can be an issue in certain countries where visa requirements include an upper age restriction. When choosing where to teach, it is advisable to thoroughly research any visa or work permit restriction that may apply to your age range. A certain level of flexibility in where you look for work will also help you find the right job. Certain regions are more likely to offer opportunities for all ages, with Latin America, Southeast Asia and the Middle East all being particularly good areas to explore. When looking to teach English abroad, it is worth noting that more than half the jobs available worldwide require candidates to conduct an interview in person. This creates a great opportunity for teachers of all ages as you get to meet the employer in person and show them that you're fit, healthy and professional in your approach regardless of the age on your passport. The bottom line is, if you're keen to teach English abroad, then there are jobs out there for everyone. Can I learn a foreign language while teaching English abroad? Yes, one of the many benefits of teaching English abroad is that it can provide a great environment for learning a foreign language. It is no secret that being fully immersed in a different culture, where you are constantly surrounded by a new language, is the most effective way to quickly develop your understanding. Throughout your time living and working as an English teacher abroad, you will inevitably have endless opportunities to practice your language skills. As well as using the language as you go about your daily life, there is also a good chance that you will have access to local language courses that are far cheaper than those available in your home country. Another possibility is the network of friends that you will likely make among the local citizens. Often, people are more than happy to help foreign visitors to develop their language skills. Another benefit of learning a language in this way is that you will be exposed to the real language as it is used by native speakers, as opposed to the classroom language that is taught in language schools. With natural exposure to local media, such as television, radio and newspapers, as well as conversation with the people you meet as you go about your daily business, you should quickly pick up a wide vocabulary that includes idioms and other casual expressions. In short, teaching English abroad offers the perfect opportunity to learn a new language. The following are some of the most popular languages to learn while teaching English abroad. Chinese Mandarin is the most widely used language in the world, considering that China also has the largest English teaching market in the world, it is no surprise that many teachers learn Mandarin whilst teaching abroad. Taiwan is another very popular teaching market where Mandarin can easily be learned. Although less widely spread, Cantonese is another Chinese language that is popular to learn with teachers living and working in Hong Kong, Macau, and parts of southern China. Arabic As it is widely spoken across North Africa and the Middle East, Arabic is the main language used in many popular English teaching destinations. Countries such as Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Kuwait and Oman all offer excellent job opportunities and the possibility of learning Arabic. North African countries such as Egypt, Morocco and Tunisia are other options, although the job markets are considerably smaller. Spanish As the official language of over 20 countries, Spanish is one of the most widely spoken languages in the world. Popular teaching destinations for learning Spanish includes Can I teach English abroad if I have children? It is certainly possible to travel overseas and work as an English language teacher if you have children. However, there are several things to consider before deciding whether it is the right option for you and your family. Finances Wherever you are in the world, raising children can be an expensive proposition. So before you head off to teach English abroad, you need to be sure that it is financially viable. 
as pay levels vary greatly from one region to the next. Where you plan to teach is one of the most important decisions you will have to make. Europe and Latin America are both very popular destinations for ESL teachers, but it is not easy to earn enough to support more than one person in these regions. In contrast, across Asia there are several countries such as China, South Korea, Taiwan and Japan where a mix of high salaries and a lower cost of living make it possible to comfortably support a child on a single teacher's pay. Education If your child is preschool age, you will need to consider the cost of daycare or the services of a nanny while you are at work. Once again, these are likely to be much more affordable in Asia than in Europe. Those with school-aged children also need to thoroughly research the options available in the country they are heading for. In some, it is feasible to enroll a child in a local public school, while in others it is not. If it is possible to enroll your child in a local school, you still need to consider whether it is a suitable environment. Those who speak the local language should find it relatively easy to adapt. However, for most children, it will mean rapidly learning the language in order to fit into unfamiliar surroundings. This might be realistic for young children who often find it easy to pick up a foreign language, but for teenagers it could be much more difficult. In countries where local schools are not an option, a British or American-based international school is generally the only alternative. While these offer a high standard of education, the cost is likely to be beyond an average teacher's salary. Medical Many of the most affordable destinations for teaching English abroad are in developing nations, where local healthcare options may not be of the standard you are used to back home. However, in many cases local medical facilities are of a good standard and very affordable, so it is up to you to research your chosen area. In certain countries, it is standard practice to provide health insurance as part of a teacher's contract and some employers also provide insurance for dependents. If you successfully apply for a job that has you and your family covered, it could make a big difference financially and provide great peace of mind. Visas If you are able to secure a job that includes a work visa, then you should find that your child is eligible for some form of dependent visa. In countries where work visas are hard to secure, Teachers often work on a simple tourist visa that needs to be renewed every three months. While this is common practice for many, teachers with children need to check with the authorities to confirm whether their child is eligible to attend public school without a long-term visa. Can I teach English abroad without any teaching experience? Yes, you can start a new career teaching English abroad without any form of teaching experience. Due to a huge demand for English language teachers in countries all over the world, tens of thousands of English speakers head overseas every year to work in a variety of different classrooms. Of this number, approximately 90% will have never worked in any kind of teaching role before. Wherever you find yourself living and working as an English language teacher, you will most likely teach your students using a method known as total immersion, whereby no other language is used in the classroom besides English. As most learners are not in a position to move to an English-speaking country in order to be surrounded by the language, it is the teacher's job to bring this immersion to the student in the classroom. Although experience is not necessary, it is not the case that simply being an English speaker qualifies you to become a language teacher. To be successful in the classroom, a teacher needs to possess a range of specific skills and knowledge that need to be learned and practiced. By completing a high-quality TEFL or TESOL certification course before you start your first teaching job, you will gain all the specialist skills you need, such as lesson planning, grammar awareness, and classroom management. Once TEFL certified, you will be able to confidently apply for a wide range of jobs in countries all over the world. 
Do I need a degree to teach English abroad? If you have a four-year college degree, the world is really your oyster when it comes to teaching English abroad. For those without a degree, the options are more limited, but it is by no means impossible. In recent years, some of the traditional hotspots for EFL teaching have tightened their visa restrictions to include the requirement of holding a formal degree. Developed Asian countries such as South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan generally require a degree to secure a working visa, whilst the lucrative markets of the Middle East are also hard to access without formal qualifications. However, the good news is there are still plenty of options around the world for non-degree holders who are flexible and willing to go the extra mile to secure their dream job. Although some countries have a legal requirement for teachers to hold a degree, in many others it is simply down to the individual employer to set their own standards. In many of the most popular destinations, the competition for jobs is so fierce that employers can set the bars as high as they like, making it difficult for non-degree holders. But do not despair, as there are a few things you can do to increase your chances of landing a job. Possibly the most important thing you can do to make yourself more employable is to complete an internationally recognized TEFL certification course. With a TEFL certificate in hand, you are able to show an employer that you have received some level of instruction in language teaching. The time and expense you have put into the course will also demonstrate your commitment to your new teaching career. Another great way to improve your employment options is to gain some teaching experience to put on your resume. A short stint volunteering at a local language center or teaching private lessons to individuals in your community will go a long way when looking for paid work. Even with a TEFL certificate and some classroom experience, you may still need to be a bit flexible when choosing where you would like to work. There are many fascinating countries around the world that are open to employing teachers without a degree. Latin America, Southeast Asia, and much of Eastern Europe are all good places to start your search. And if you are in the country and available for an interview in person, your chances of landing a job are extremely high. While it is true that a degree does give you more options in the international teaching market, having a TEFL certification and a strong desire to teach English abroad can also be all you need to start an exciting new career as an EFL teacher. Strictly speaking, the answer is no. You do not have to possess a TEFL certificate in order to find work as an English language teacher. In some countries around the world, it is still possible to secure employment simply by being a native English speaker. However, there are several reasons why we would strongly recommend that you complete a TEFL training course before you set off to teach English abroad. In recent years, many popular destinations for EFL teachers have begun to tighten the requirements necessary for teaching English in schools and language centers. A recognized TEFL certificate is now required in order to secure a work permit in many countries, whilst the ever-growing number of teachers with a TEFL qualification means that employers in the majority of countries will no longer accept unqualified teachers. Put simply, if you want to live and work in any popular destination across the world, you are more than likely to need a TEFL qualification. Another important factor to consider is the salary, benefits and overall working conditions that each job has to offer. This varies considerably from one country to the next, but one fact remains consistent. The jobs that offer the best packages in most situations will require a TEFL certification as well as official requirements and personal benefits, there is one other very important reason why we consider it necessary to earn a TEFL qualification before you enter the world of English language teaching. The ability to speak a language does not mean you are equipped to teach it. Teaching a language requires certain specialist skills and knowledge which allow you to pass on what you know to your students. 
Completing a reputable TEFL course will ensure you are clear on the structures of English grammar, such as the tense system, conditionals, modals, and passive voice, and how to teach them effectively. You will also learn essential teaching skills, including how to plan your lessons, methodologies for effective teaching, and how to manage your students. Not only will this knowledge help you to secure a good teaching position, it will also ensure that your students have the best chance of improving their English abilities. Do you need a TEFL certificate to teach English abroad? If you want to earn a competitive salary in a professional environment and you consider it important that your students are given the best opportunities to progress, then we think the answer is yes. Do TEFL certificates expire? No, TEFL certificates do not expire. They are valid for life. Once you have completed your course, either online or by attending a training center, you will be able to start work straight away or set off on your travels and use it later when your funds start getting low. A TEFL certificate really is a great qualification to have in your backpack or briefcase as you can use it to earn a good income at any time in any part of the world. Although your certification will never expire, we do recommend that you continue to develop your skills and knowledge as you progress in your teaching career. Additional courses such as an advanced TEFL diploma or a specialized certificate in teaching business English or teaching young learners will build on your existing skills, allowing you to deliver even better lessons in the classroom. These extra qualifications will also look good on your resume and open up further job opportunities that may not have previously been open to you. During your TEFL course, you will receive instruction in a wide range of specific skills, such as lesson planning, classroom management, and correction techniques, as well as learn about various English grammar subjects and phonology. Much of what you learn will stay with you for the long term. However, if you spend an extended period away from the classroom, you may well benefit from a refresher course before you start a new teaching job. Keeping your teaching skills up to date will not only allow you to enter an unfamiliar classroom full of confidence in your ability, but will also ensure that your students receive a high level of instruction that allows them to successfully progress in their language studies. Do TEFL teachers need a second language? The simple answer is no, you do not need to have any knowledge or experience of languages other than English to take a TEFL course or to become an EFL teacher. The ability to speak other languages is not required, as the vast majority of TEFL classrooms around the world rely on the communicative approach to English teaching that specifies that English is the only language used in the classroom. In multilingual classrooms where the students could have a dozen or more different first languages, being able to communicate in one or two of them would obviously be of no particular advantage. In monolingual classrooms you may also find that students are more inclined to revert to their mother tongue during the lesson if they are aware that the teacher can understand what they are saying. Whatever the classroom environment, one of the basic principles of EFL teaching is for students to only communicate in English from the very beginning to the very end of every lesson. Although it is not necessary to speak other languages to be an effective EFL teacher, there are certainly advantages to having some experience in learning and using a foreign language. Firstly, it allows you to experience what it is like to be a language learner which should help you to empathize with your students and therefore improve the effectiveness of your lessons. It can also change the way you look at your own language and can lead to a greater understanding of the fundamentals of English such as grammar structures and so on. If you find yourself living and working in a foreign country, you are more than likely to pick up the local language to some degree during your stay. Being able to communicate with the local people can certainly make your life much easier on a day-to-day -day basis and it can also significantly enhance your overall experience of teaching English abroad. However, as long as you have completed a good quality TEFL course and therefore learned the skills and techniques needed to plan and deliver effective lessons, knowledge of the local language is by no means essential. 
Is it safe for single women to teach English abroad? Yes, not only is it safe for women to teach English abroad, it is also extremely popular. Every year, there are somewhere in the region of 150,000 women working as ESL teachers in countries all over the world. Of these, the majority will find themselves living in modern, thriving cities across Europe, Asia and Latin America that have a similar level of infrastructure and amenities to what they are used to back home. Whether in Rome, Beijing or Santiago, new teachers will almost certainly find that there is an expat community of English speakers who are more than happy to provide local knowledge and information to help them settle into their new life overseas. Unfortunately, nowhere is 100% safe all of the time, but with a few simple precautions, single women can head off to teach English abroad with little need for concern. Before you go. Before you make a final decision on your destination for teaching English abroad, it is a good idea to do some research to ensure you choose a suitable location. For example, the role of women in society varies across different cultures, as does what is seen as acceptable interaction between the sexes. To decide whether you would feel comfortable living long-term in any particular country, it is important to be familiar with the cultural norms so you can make an educated decision. A simple question you can ask yourself is, would I be happy to go to this location on vacation? If so, it is reasonable to assume that you would feel safe living and working there. Bear in mind that most of the biggest markets for ESL teachers are located in peaceful countries with well-developed economies, rather than in war-torn and impoverished regions. Once you have decided on a city, the final thing to do before heading off is to search its different neighborhoods to find out which area is best to live in. On arrival, whatever your choice of destination, you are certain to find other like-minded teachers who have also made the decision to live and work abroad. These colleagues can be a great source of local knowledge when finding your feet in your new home, particularly when it comes to staying safe. From how to safely use local transport, to contacting the police and emergency services, your new colleague's knowledge is invaluable. If they suggest there are certain parts of town or particular establishments that are best avoided, it is wise to assume they know what they are talking about. It is not only your new colleagues that will want to look out for you, as most people worldwide are happy to welcome foreign teachers into their communities. By making a conscious effort to engage with local people, you should find that you become accepted into the community and are therefore safer living within it. Common sense is also an important part of staying safe while living and working abroad. By following a few simple rules, you can dramatically reduce the chances of getting into any kind of trouble. Always avoid any areas that are seen as unsafe, particularly at night. When socializing, never accept drinks from strangers and avoid getting drunk in public. Avoid flaunting any signs of wealth such as jewelry, electronic gadgets or wads of cash. Finally, be clear on how to contact the police and other emergency services. Will I make friends while teaching English abroad? For anyone contemplating leaving home to live and work in an unfamiliar country, there are several common concerns. Not least, will I make friends during my stay? While it is possible that you will initially feel a little homesick, the vast majority of people who head off to teach English abroad soon develop a network of friends and colleagues from both their host country and elsewhere in the world. Of the tens of thousands of people who head overseas every year to teach English abroad, the vast majority will have some level of anxiety about meeting new people and making new friends. The good news is that most teachers soon forget these concerns once they are immersed in their new environment. The chances are high that you will not be the only foreign teacher in your new school, apartment building or neighborhood. As well as other teachers, 
You can also expect to meet friendly and welcoming people from the local community who will be more than happy to help you settle into your new home. Work colleagues. One obvious source of friendship in your new life overseas will be your place of work. The majority of teachers will find there are other foreign teachers working in the same school, many of whom are in exactly the same position. More experienced teachers will also be an invaluable source of knowledge when it comes to settling into new surroundings, both within the school and within the wider community. Although your fellow expat teachers will certainly be a valuable resource on arrival and an obvious source of friendship in the longer term, don't overlook the opportunity of getting to know local people. Within the school there are likely to be many local staff members who are keen to share both their culture and their community with you. Online A quick online search is likely to bring up a variety of expat groups, forums and blogs related to the city or country where you are living and working. Through these you can explore all the manner of activities that bring like-minded people together in your area. From hiking and biking, to book clubs and wine tasting, you are sure to find something of interest that will also allow you to meet a wide variety of expats and locals. Sports Watching and participating in sports is one of the most popular ways to meet new people and settle into a new community. Wherever you are in the world, there will almost certainly be local sports teams or fan groups that you can join. Football, soccer is huge throughout much of the world particularly South America and Europe, while baseball is equally popular in many Asian countries such as Japan and South Korea. Many countries also have a traditional sport that can offer a fascinating insight into the culture and way of life of local people. Expat Hangouts Wherever there are expat communities, you will also find a variety of expat hangouts. Most major cities can boast at least one popular bar where expats conjugate to eat and drink and watch major events such as the Super Bowl or the FIFA World Cup. Bookshops, coffee shops and international restaurants can also be great places to make friends, so ask your colleagues about popular venues in your area. Language Lessons Many people teaching English overseas will consider it important to learn the local language and this can also be a good way of making friends and contacts. In-class language courses in your local area may well attract numerous foreigners in a similar position to yourself, while helping locals with their conversational English can also lead to friendships and a greater immersion into the local community. The above are just a few of the more common ways to meet new people and make friends amongst locals and other expats during your time overseas. Wherever you find yourself in the world, don't be shy about approaching colleagues, neighbors and other community members as you never know what fascinating adventures it might lead to. What is the difference between TESOL and TEFOL? There is often much confusion surrounding these acronyms, but essentially they mean the same thing. TEFOL stands for Teaching English as a Foreign Language. TESOL stands for teaching English to speakers of other languages. The above are generally used interchangeably. However, TEFL is most commonly used within the UK and TESOL is usually preferred in Australia and the United States. Although some countries may favor one acronym over the other, it is important to remember that a TEFL certification and a TESOL certification are exactly the same thing as the training involved is identical. Although TEFL and TESOL training courses are identical and the acronyms are generally used interchangeably, there is a technical difference between the two. The general perception is that speakers of English as a foreign language live in a non-English speaking country, meaning they don't need to speak English on a daily basis and are usually learning the language for travel, business or simply as a hobby. In contrast, speakers of English as a second language live in an English speaking country, meaning they do need to speak English on a daily basis for work, socializing, shopping, and many more. What is the difference between TEFL, TESOL, and CELTA? When conducting online research for teaching English abroad, you will quickly come across the acronyms TEFL, TESOL, and CELTA. Essentially, they represent the basic qualifications that many international employers look for when hiring English language teachers 
to work in schools or language academies. The world of English language teaching is well known for its love of acronyms and unfortunately this can lead to a large amount of confusion amongst potential teachers as well as those with plenty of experience in the field. Websites for course providers, job boards, recruitment programs and any other teaching related information you might look at are likely to be littered with acronyms including TEFL, TESOL and CELTA. So what is the difference between these terms? TEFL, short for Teaching English as a Foreign Language. TEFL is probably the most common acronym you will come across when conducting research for teaching English abroad. TEFL does not refer to a single training program, certification or program provider, but is simply a catch-all term for training courses and certification aimed at those looking to head overseas to teach English. There are a huge number of providers offering TEFL certification with a variety of courses available that differ in length, cost, and overall quality. TESOL Short for teaching English to speakers of other languages, TESOL in this context is used in much the same way as TEFL is used above. The two terms are generally used interchangeably to refer to a training program or certification for teaching English abroad. The term TESOL is typically more common in North America while TEFL is often preferred in the UK. In regard to training programs and certification, courses that are titled TEFL or TESOL will essentially be the same thing and neither will have any adverse effect on your job prospects. CELTA Short for Certificate in English Language Teaching to Adults, CELTA is essentially an individual brand of TEFL certification that is awarded by Cambridge English Language Assessment which is a part of the University of Cambridge in the UK. The course is an intensive four-week program that is offered by a variety of schools and training centers in countries all over the world. As the name suggests, it is primarily aimed at those looking to teach adult students. If you plan to teach young learners of any age, then you may want to reconsider this option. Which should I choose? When it comes to choosing the right course, you should not be too concerned about which acronym you end up with on your certificate. Whether it is TEFL, TESOL or CELTA is not the most important factor. What matters is whether the course meets the accepted international standard for English language teaching. These standards require a minimum course length of 120 hours, four week in class course or equivalent. A minimum of six hours of observed teaching practice OTP, with genuine ESL students. The course should be conducted by instructors who possess a high level of relevant qualifications and extensive teaching experience. The curriculum should be externally accredited and monitored by an independent body. There are many short format, low price TEFL course options on the market that do not meet the above criteria. If you're looking for a professional certification that is welcomed by employers all over the world, then these are best avoided. Any course that does meet the criteria, whether TEFL, TESOL or CELTA, should give you the skills, knowledge and confidence you need to start your new career as an ESL teacher. When making a final decision on which course to take, it is worth remembering that the quality of each course may vary from one training center to the next. You might read on blogs or forums that the CELTA course is superior to any other TEFL course. This is simply not true, as the course is operated by a wide array of training centers in different parts of the world, some of which are good and some not so good. It is also worth considering that many TEFL or TESOL certificate courses are now equal to or exceeding the standards set by the University of Cambridge for CELTA certification. The bottom line is that the quality and effectiveness of any teacher training course is not set by the acronym on the certificate, but the overall standard of the individual training center that provides it. What is an ESL teacher? Globalization and the increasing demand for English-speaking professionals, especially in emerging regions in Asia and South America, has brought about a new, steadily growing sector 
called English as a Second Language, in short, ESL. An ESL teacher is there for an instructor who works with ELLs, English language learners, whose native language is not English. The goal of the ESL teacher is to help the students reach a certain level of fluency in English, both on a written level and on a spoken level. ESL instructors are not to be confused with foreign language teachers. ESL teachers do not share the same native language as their students and are specifically trained to offer explanations and a directed teaching style for non-English speakers. This kind of teaching style is especially focused on drills, repetition, demonstrations, and visuals. A lot of people think that ESL teachers only work with children. This is not the case. In fact, the student age group can reach from kindergarten all the way to university level and even beyond to adult students. You often encounter English learning academies that will focus on one certain age group. For example, there are special institutions for only children or other institutions that focus on um, business executives improving their skills for international business communications. Therefore, the role of the ESL teacher can vary dramatically from case to case and therefore requires the teachers to be flexible and easily adapting to new situations. Generally speaking, you can find opportunities to work as an ESL teacher anywhere on the map, even in your home country, where students might include migrants or refugees. However, most ESL teachers work in countries where English is not an official language. Popular ESL countries include China, South Korea and Thailand in Asia, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia in the Middle East, as well as South American countries like Argentina, Chile, Brazil and Colombia. ESL educators might work in a classroom where they are the primary instructor or they may cooperate with other primary teachers in a supporting role. On the other hand, ESL teachers oftentimes have local supporting teachers who are in the classroom to help the ELLs in their native language to ensure smooth communication. Many undergraduate and graduate programs do offer specialized teacher preparation programs to become a ESL instructor. However, the most common way to become an ESL educator is to obtain a TEFL or TESOL certification through a specialized program. However, it is worth mentioning that many language institutions around the world, both public and private, are requiring a certification of at least 120 hours. When asking teachers why they pursue a career in English as a second language, the responses usually come down to similar reasons. Huge money-saving opportunities. Living a comfortable lifestyle. Being able to explore foreign cultures. What does TEFL mean? The simple answer is that TEFL stands for Teaching English as a Foreign Language. The TEFL acronym is also used when referring to training courses that new or experienced English language teachers undertake, as well as the certification they receive upon successful completion. As one of the leading providers in this field, ITTT offers all the TEFL training and certification required to become a successful English language teacher virtually anywhere in the world. In order to secure a position as an EFL teacher, most employers require their job applicants to possess a relevant qualification known as a TEFL certificate. However, as there is no official standard when it comes to TEFL certification, it can be hard to know which course to choose from the many options available. A quick internet search for TEFL qualification will reveal a huge number of different companies offering all manner of TEFL courses that vary enormously in the level of commitment required in terms of both time and finances. So how do you decide which TEFL course is right for you? TEFL courses are generally categorized by the amount of hours they should take to complete. Online courses start at as little as 40 hours and in-class courses can be completed over a single weekend. 
if you're looking for a simple introduction to language teaching or are considering volunteering as an EFL teacher, then these courses may be sufficient. However, it is worth considering that many EFL teaching jobs that offer the best working conditions and an attractive salary will require a TEFL certificate of at least 100 hours. If you want the best possible start to your teaching career and really want to hit the ground running, we would recommend you complete an in-class TEFL course at one of our international training centers. The main benefit of this form of TEFL certification is the inclusion of extensive teaching practice with genuine language learners under the guidance of a professional teacher trainer. On completion of this four-week intensive training, you will be ready to walk into your first teaching job fully confident in your ability to plan and deliver EFL lessons to a high standard. For many people, the in-class course can prove to be too time-consuming and simply out of their price range. Luckily, this is not a major problem as ITTT offers an online alternative that leads to a 120-hour TEFL certificate that is widely accepted by international employers. Although the online option doesn't include teaching practice, it does include a wide selection of videos that provide a great insight into what to expect when you enter your very own classroom for the first time. Whichever path you choose to take towards your TEFL certification, we are sure you will find teaching English as a foreign language to be an exciting and rewarding career that opens up a whole new world of travel, fun, and personal fulfillment. If you would like any further information on any aspect of TEFL, please feel free to contact us at any time.